Greetings, everyone. Pete Pardo here from Sea Tranquility. Welcome to another episode of What's Hot with Sea Tranquility. That's right. It's Wednesday, new release day. I've got a really cool one to talk to you about here. we got a lot of them coming up at you today. Tons of new stuff been coming out. I have so many new albums I'm trying to get to, so uh, we'll bring them to you over the next couple of Wednesdays. But uh, today I've been wanting to do this one for about a week now, and I uh, was just waiting for it to come in. I've been listening to it a ton, and uh, it's the 13th studio album from this band. It's their first album in a couple of years. It's a doozy. Clutch. Sunrise on Slaughter Beach. All right. That's right, clutch. Got this little kind of kind of flimsy-ish digipack here, right? One of those bands that just never seems to disappoint, which is a good thing. Got a little booklet here. No photos of anybody, just lyrics and some album credits. Of course, who plays on this? You might ask. The, the, same guys we always depend on, Neil Fallon on vocals, little guitar, right? You got Jean Paul Gaster on drums and vibes, Tim Salt on guitars, what a great guitar player, and uh, Dan Maines on bass. So, what do we get with this new Clutch album? You may ask. Well, if you're kind of familiar with the style of Clutch, you know, what is Clutch music, right? Is it stoner rock? A little bit. Is it like blues rock? A little bit. Is it just good time rock and roll? A little bit. Are there some kind of punk and hardcore vibes? A little bit. Are there lots of grooves? Yes, tons of them. Are there great big fat guitar riffs? Yes, indeedy. Is there like fast paced songs, big heavy crunchers, more laid back stuff? Yes. Got a little bit of everything on here. You've got uh, nine tracks on this new album, Sunrise on Slaughter Beach. It's roughly about 35 minutes long. It's a very short album. Songs are really short and compact short and sweet like i like to call it um but yeah but lots of heavy grooves lots of big riffs um you know the opening track red alert boss metal zone is just absolutely terrific and right from the get-go you know that you're in for a hard hit and ride here it's just a tremendous tremendous song uh the title track lean and mean kind of mid-paced kind of like blues metal Thumper, just absolutely love it. Uh, Neil's vocals are so, so good on here. Um, what else we got here? Mountain of Bone. Absolutely terrific. Mountain of Bone. It's kind of kind of slower, kind of crushing, a little, little sludgy at times. You got Nosferatu Madre, which is gives this kind of like spooky New Orleans horror blues rock kind of vibe. You know, not really good. You know, right there you got like because the way they kind of set it up, it's almost like an album. You get the four tracks on here, the five tracks on here, almost like a side one and side two. Uh, side one, all right. Well, the first half of the CD is just absolutely terrific. Uh, then you got uh, Mercy Brown, which is more laid back, a little moody, kind of bluesy, kind of a slow burn. Uh, Neil really showing off like a, a soulful side to his voice, which is really cool. And then at the, the last half of the song, the band kicks back in with this big bombastic kind of like Black Sabbath meets Led Zeppelin fury uh, that starts halfway through the song. Really, really cool. Uh, you got We Strive for Excellence. Uh, another big, high energy, heavy, clutch banger. You got all sorts of riffs. The drums are just crashing all over the place. Neil just doing more of his aggressive style, and the vocals really, really good. Uh, Skeletons on Mars, another one kind of follows similar suit. Uh, and then you got uh, the last two tracks, which are Three Golden Horns and Jack Hammer, Our Names, uh, which you know Three Golden Horns is kind of slow, slower, little moody. Um, actually, no, the last track, Jackhammer, our, our uh, names, is uh, is slower, moody, bluesy, kind of haunting track, whereas uh, Three Golden Horns actually um, is, uh, you know, more, a little more on the frantic side and a little more energetic. Though. So really, on, on the whole, over the entire album, really the only songs that are like, I would say, more kind of mid-paced and slower and bluesier is, is Jack Hammer and Names the Last Song and maybe and parts of Mercy Brown for sure. Most of the rest of the album is really up-tempo, high-energy stuff. Um, again, call Clutch whatever you want to call them. They're just, to me, they're just a great rock band, but they do the stoner thing, they do the blues rock thing, uh, and, and great vocals, great riffs, really good album. <laughs> I've listened, and it's, it's really, 
as my good friend Simon Bray likes to say, very concise album, right? It's like 35 minutes long, just a little over a half hour. It's a little bit longer than an EP. Nine songs. Each song is like, you know, what, two and a half to four minutes long tops. Um, and just really, really well done. Just good. You, you just get into the grooves. You get into the riffs. The, the vocals of Neil are just really, really strong. This is, you know, this is a band that uh, I've been listening to Clutch for a long time, but I've never, like, bought a lot of their albums. Like, up until fairly recently, I had, like, maybe four Clutch albums. And it's a band that I've always kind of liked, but, you know, I never really dove into too much. I've seen them live, really great live. And then just, you know, back like six months ago I decided it's like you know what I'm gonna really just dive into the entire clutch catalog because I, I just get told by so many people it's like Pete you really should be into them more and I'm like well I like them just enough I just you know don't have a lot by them right uh, you know Blast Tyrant of course I thought is I've always thought is like their greatest album and I, I had a you know a few others but uh, I you know I decided to go out and get the whole catalog and uh, I've done that, and I'm like, wow, this is a really, really strong catalog all throughout, and uh, now this is the brand new one. So, yes, we're doing a Rankin' the Album show of Clutch sometime in the not-too-distant future, actually. That will be Martin Popoff and uh, Guitar Hack and myself will be doing that, so stay tuned for that coming up. My guess is that'll probably be sometime in November. It'll be before the end of the year for sure, but probably sometime in November. So, yeah, as for Sunrise on Slaughter Beach... I'm going to give it a four and a half out of five star. It's that good. There's no weak songs on there. Like I said, I think the only song for me that kind of like, you know, really draws back on the intensity that I'm, I'm not as nuts about is Jack Hammer, Our Names. It's the last song on the album. Otherwise, the rest of it, top notch. Just good, heavy rock and clutch. Love it. So go check it out. Sunrise on Slaughter Beach from Clutch. You heard it here first. Uh, let us know what you think. If you have the album, if you heard it, if you haven't, go listen to it and come back and let us know what you think of this great new Clutch album. And uh, visit us on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube. All together. All the damn time. Stay tuned for more. We've got, uh, what do we got coming up? We've got new, The Tangent. We've got uh, a new archival from Dan the Machine. We've got, uh, what else am I doing today? Kings of Mercia, and I hope to get to the new Queensryche as well. So uh, that's what's coming up. And then uh, what is left for next week, we still have Dead Daisies. I may or may not get to Dead Daisies today. I'm not really sure. I've got... Uh, Live Alice Cooper band. I've got uh, live Steve Hackett, live Van Den Plaza and Pelletary. Uh, new Arthur Brown. Yes, that Arthur Brown. We've got the four little EPs from Tedeschi Trucks band, which I'm still trying to, you know, it's like a, it, it's their EPs, but each one of them has like, you know, seven, eight, nine songs, right? So it's, you know, it's between six to six, seven. Yeah, yeah. It's literally, when you put it all together, it's like a jam packed double album because there's like 20-something songs across the four EPs. So I'm just you know trying to digest those as well. That's proven to be a challenge over the last week or so. But I'll get to them. I'll get to them. So uh, there you have it, everybody. Lots of stuff coming at you either today, next Wednesday, or the Wednesday after. So stay tuned for more. We also got the new Cult coming in, right? So that got to get you that as well. So lots of really great new releases over the last few weeks uh, to uh, kind of digest and bring to you guys. So uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Please subscribe if you haven't already and click on that notification bell so you get alerted of all of our content as it posts. We also have the links down below to our Ko-Fi page for channel donations as well as our merch page uh, where you can get all sorts of great Sea of Tranquility shirts, hats, hoodies, caps, um, stickers coffee mugs all that sort of stuff as well as our comic book sister channel comic book users by the way if you haven't checked out our sister channel comic book users please do so it's right here on youtube called comic book users please go check that out and subscribe we are we're exactly as we say we are comic book users so we, we show off and talk about all sorts of great comics from the 60s 70s and probably into the early 80s so if you like vintage stuff from marvel and dc and uh you know all that sort of thing that's what we talk about and show off it's a lot of fun and uh if you like what we do here on sea tranquility and you like comics even a little bit uh, come on over and check us out and please hit that subscribe button and we're just about at 3,000 subscribers we haven't been around quite as long as here on sea tranquility but we're really trying to to get our viewership up so uh go check it out and see what that's all about and uh till uh till later on right we got more stuff coming at you so uh, thanks for watching i am p partle see you real soon bye-bye